treatment too. Therefore, these are some of the perils beneath the tombs. Then the gums may start bleeding, the gums may soften, and the dentist will have to take care of the teeth now because you, the patient, has not taken care of his teeth or her teeth before going to the dentist. All the toffees I chewed. Now, all these toffees and chocolates have been mentioned over here. The toffees and the sweet sticky food and the gobstoppers. So gobstoppers are those large hard sweets and the licorice are the different kinds of candies and the tiny sweets are sherbet dabs. So the poet says that if I had avoided all these toffees and lollies and licorice, I would not have been sitting in the dentist chair right away to get my teeth filled and caps fitted on it. I wish I had been that much more willing. So the poet says, I wish I was more willing. Willing is desirous. I wish I was willing to pass up gobstoppers. Pass up is to avoid. Avoid all these large hard sweets and I should have paid more respect to my choppers. Paying respect over here refers to that I should not have used my choppers in chewing hard sweets and only eating sweets and chocolates and going to sleep without brushing properly. And the poet says, to buy something else with me shilling. He says, now he regrets. He says that I wish I had bought something better for myself, something useful for myself with the shilling, with the currency. Shilling is British currency. With the money that my mother had given to me, I should not have bought sweets and chocolates. I should have bought something useful. But now the poet, the only thing that the poet can do is regret. When I think of the lollies I licked, all sorts that I picked, big and little, and that hard peanut brittle. So he says that now I remember that all those toffees and chocolates that I had and the peanut that I broke with my teeth now is the result before me. My conscience gets pricked horribly. So the poet says that my conscience is pricking me. Every day the conscience, the inner voice tells me that I have committed a mistake and I am alone responsible for the decayed teeth. Oh, I showed them the toothpaste, all right. Now in the stanza, the poet says that I brushed my teeth twice, maybe even thrice. As the poet says, I flashed it about late at night. So the poet says that I brushed and I showed my teeth the toothpaste and the brush. And I brushed my teeth up and down and poked and fussed about the teeth. But it was of no use. It was of no avail. Because now, what is the result? I am sitting over here in the dentist's chair and I am looking up at the dentist's nose. And therefore the poet regrets, probably I did not do the brushing part properly. Maybe I did not ask the dentist as to how I must brush my teeth and the result is that now I have to be here in the dentist chair and the dentist is now caring for my teeth. If I had known I was